Hi everyone, this is Darren Maralia. I'm the CTO and founder of SDM Software. And in this video, what I want to do is spend a little bit of time and talk about a new PowerShell module that we're shipping for our Group Policy Compliance Manager product. So just as a review, Group Policy Compliance Manager is a graphical utility that we provide to do scalable collection of group policy health and settings data across your environment. So the goal here is to give you that feedback mechanism to know that group policy settings are actually being delivered. And in the GUI, we can get access to data based on collections that we do so that we can see the GPOs that are processed or the settings that are delivered to those systems. Now, it's often useful to be able to automate some of these processes if you're doing security configuration checks or access reviews that are leveraging group policy data or any number of different scenarios where you want to find out the state of group policy in your environment. That is sort of where PowerShell comes in handy. And what we're delivering in a recent PowerShell module that we just created um, is the ability to do some of these tasks from PowerShell. So let me just uh, sort of give you a glimpse at the commandlets that we're delivering in the PowerShell module for Group Policy Compliance Manager today. So there's six commandlets to start off with. Everything from comparing a setting baseline to grabbing information about a computer or user that we've collected against within Group Policy Compliance Manager to just searching for GP settings. Um, to another one that's interesting, and I'll show that first. So the notion of uh, showing group policy impact. So let's say I want to make a change to this RSOP test GPO or uh, this other one called GP preferences drive mapping policy. I want to make it, I want to make a change to that GPO, but before I make the change, I want to know where in my environment that policy is being is being uh, delivered. So what are the machines or users that are delivering that uh, that are getting that policy delivered? So I know when I make my change what the impact is going to be. So if I run this commandlet, you'll see here that I've got two computers and specifically two users uh, that are getting this policy. So this uh, w Win7 x86-1 machine, and specifically the user B. Weston, is getting that uh, GPO. And B. Weston is also getting it when he logged into the Win10 client machine. Now if I want to get a little bit more data on what that actual what the settings are that were delivered, I can do that. And let me just get to a screen here where I can grab this data and store it in a variable. And then in that variable, I can iterate over the settings property. And you'll see here that I get a quick glimpse of the settings. And if I format to a list, I'll see the actual settings for that particular entry, the, the, the zeroth entry, which is the first entry in the list, which was my Win7x86 machine in B. Weston. I can actually see the settings that were delivered, these drive map settings that were delivered to this user. So I can further, once I've narrowed down my impact, I can further see what the actual settings are for that user. So lots of great information there that I get with that impact commandlet. Now let's say I want to do uh, a basic uh, searching of settings. So I'm going to search for a, a setting path. Like a uh, common scenario might be that I want to know where a particular security setting is within my environment. Where has it been delivered? In this case, the rename guest security option setting. And I can either provide a setting path or a setting value for this commandlet, this search SDM setting commandlet. And what it does is it shows me all of the places, all of the machines that have received this setting path, rename guest account, and here's the full path here, the value that it was set to, the GPO that delivered the setting, the machine that, that got the setting, and the last time we collected what the last GP processing time was. So again, we've got multiple machines here, multiple settings. In this case, it was set to Marvin and it was delivered by this domain-wide security settings policy, so a different one than the one above. And I'm able to see exactly when and, and what settings were delivered to which machines. And this is across my whole domain. 
I do have the ability with the commandlets to scope the searches to data that's collected um, from a particular OU if I want. But right now I'm searching the whole domain to get this information. And then the last uh, commandlet, or at least the uh, maybe the last, let's see if I, if I run out of time here. Um, the last commandlet that I want to show you is the ability to compare against baselines. So let's say you have a known good setting. Let's say you've got a baseline setting out of a, a DISA-STIG standard or some other standard that you're using, some um, industry standard for, config for security configuration, and you want to find out where there are machines that are deviant from that setting. In other words, where in your environment you've got machines that are out of compliance with that setting. What I'm doing here with this commandlet is I'm saying compare the setting baseline with the setting path of essentially user rights assignment bypass traverse checking and then a setting value of administrators. So I want to make sure that administrators has been granted bypass traverse checking user right across my entire environment. Now if I do that and run that I will see all of the machines by default where that setting is missing. In this case you see here all of these machines have that setting missing. Now if the setting were set to a different value this would show as different rather than missing. The other thing I can do here is I can actually use a parameter called same and same will tell me not only all the missing ones but any machines that have the same the, 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 that are in compliance for this setting and you'll see here I have two they happen to be my two domain controllers um, and those have the correct value for that particular setting it also shows me the GPO that delivered that value so I'm able to quickly see uh, machines that are in compliance or out of compliance for my um, my baselines and I can populate these values off the PowerShell pipeline so I can pass in multiple values and my, our GPO reporting pack product has the ability to format this data in a way that can be passed easily into the GPCM product, the GPCM commandlets, so that you can essentially do compliance checking across multiple settings um, really quickly and easily from PowerShell. So the last policy commandlet or GPCM commandlet I want to show you is related to timing. So let's go ahead and run this one and it's called get GP timing and I can give it a computer so let's say I wanna search on Win764 and it will show me for the data that I've collected the elapsed time for the last two processing cycles and in this case there are only two um, if I chose a machine that I've got more data against, like this machine called Cabernet, I can see historical timing values on how long it took to process policy. And so this is based on the data that I've collected, and I'm able to kind of quickly iterate through and determine elapsed time for GP processing. If I do a get help on get SDM GP timing, well, I have the ability to do this on either computer name or username. So I can search on user processing times in addition to computer processing times. So for example, if I switch this up and say I want to search on username Darren, it will find all the machines that I've logged on to and the processing times for those machines. Now if I only wanted to see the latest time for, for myself on all of these machines, the latest GP processing time, maybe I've collected for months or, or whatever, I can use the last parameter and it only shows me the last collected data point for each of those machines. So a lot of great data here in this first iteration of our GPCM PowerShell commandlet. And I encourage you to check out Group Policy Compliance Manager, check out the PowerShell module, and uh, start getting compliant with your group policy settings. You can go to our website to get a demo of the Group Policy Compliance Manager. Thanks very much.